Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a class overview. We have the skills for the new class, uh, confirmed where the laser Ragnarok is, and a bunch of Frostfell news. So let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Did I already say that? I probably said that twice now, but this is a news video. We do this every Thursday. So every Thursday, you can come back to this channel. If you're subscribed, hopefully you get a notification. If you don't get a notification, make sure you have that little bell icon selected near the subscribe button. If you're subscribed, that'll notify you every time I upload a video. So um, every Thursday, we do a news video. This week, there's a lot of cool news. So let's start off with the first thing. So I love it when people send me the news on Twitter, like stuff I wouldn't have figured out. And this one is 100% I would not have figured out if it wasn't for Philip on Twitter. Thank you if you're watching this video. Uh, so he's talking to Elena. That's Elena in-game. I can confirm that because that's exactly what her character page looks like right now. It's definitely not photoshopped. Uh, so uh, he asks Elena where the laser Ragnarok is and why it's not coming out. And Elena responds with, I'm going to save that one for Deja's birthday. It fits so much better with the event theme. I think I'm going to like the event theme of Deitch's birthday this year if a laser Ragnarok fits in well with the theme. Um, we can speculate that's going to be like cyberish themed event for Deitch's birthday. If you don't know, Deitch's birthday is in March. So we have where it's January 1st today. We have and then January, February, March. So it's like two months away. Oh, well, I guess three months if we count the days. But so it's about three months away. Uh, so Deitch's birthday is actually coming up sooner than we think. And it'll be here very soon, and uh, the Laser Ragnarok will be there for the December package. Every month, they're doing a new package, and this month is, of course, Christmas, like, Frostfell themed, I guess. And, yeah, the sets look amazing, honestly. So, for the $10 package, you get the Northlands Ranger. Uh, that is the red set right here. And you also get a house, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, that they're giving you a house and a set of armor for only ten dollars. Uh, that's like worth ten dollars by itself, and then you also get the two thousand ACs or the three month membership or whatever else you buy with it. Uh, like, I, there's always a huge disparity between the two packages because one's like ten dollars and the other one is like fifty dollars, like forty five, fifty dollars. Uh, one sec. So here's what I'm talking about. So um, to get the top tier package, the one that comes with the white set also, you would either need to spend $40 or $57. So $40 is the cheapest way you can get. This is in USD, so it's more expensive if you're in Australia or Canada where I live or uh, uh, England. I think it's whatever, it's pounds. Yeah, so the conversion, of course, it's US dollars. So $40 is the cheapest you can get the high end set for. And, uh, yeah, it's, there's a big difference, but, and, like, a lot of the sets get the same amount, so, like, if you buy, say, you spend $20, you get the same set that someone that spends $10, and you get nothing for $5, so, it, it's kind of, yeah, like, say you buy a six-month membership for $40, I don't get why you don't get the top-tier package for, uh, the six-month set, because it's the same price as the 12-month, isn't it? Like, so, yeah, like, 12 months or 12k ACs is the only way you can get these, but for, with a 6-month membership, it costs the same amount as... I don't know, that's just something I, I... It's just something I think about, like, why why does this cost the same amount, but you don't get the top-tier top set with it? Like, why... I don't know, it just, it just baffles me, but hopefully they should fix that. I don't know, they should go so tweet at them. Maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they'll let the 6-month membership package also... Uh, let them have the gear. So here are the three different tiers of gear. Um, we got the Death, uh, the Death Knight Stalker, which is available for ten dollars and the twelve k twelve month package, which is very interesting. Uh, so yeah, ten dollars is a huge value on this set, like huge value. So you get this, you get the red set, which personally is my favorite out of the two. Although I do actually like that, but I don't think I, it's worth spending the extra thirty dollars on. Uh, just to get that one extra set, but I do like it, and uh, if I didn't need to buy 
uh, venture coins right now would actually be a perfect opportunity because there's also a bonus uh, deal going on sorry for that weird cut right there um if you buy 900 acs you get an extra 100 2000 you get an extra five five thousand you get an extra two thousand and for twelve thousand you get an extra six thousand that's a huge so if you need twelve thousand acs for some reason perfect time to get them so this starts this friday and it ends on december 2nd wait oh no it starts on december 2nd my bad and it does not say when it ends i don't think no it does not say when it ends so yeah so if you need adventure coins definitely the time to get them all right i know i've been talking about one set and we have a lot more news to get through today but uh here is like the animation on the new set uh the uh, Dage said on his Twitter that he wanted it to look like the wind is like blowing it through the breeze basically So that's why the cape there or the cloak uh, is moving and also the um, What do you call that like a the hat? I guess the, the end of the hat there is also moving and then there's a white version of it Looks the same. I actually really like the white version. I really like both Honestly. So, more Frostfell related stuff. This is more towards Frostfell. Uh, come at me, bro. Or do you not have the snowballs? So, J6 with his uh, cool snowman present. Looking nice. So, here is some art for the new Frostfell. Uh, it talks about the story so far. If you haven't played through the story, I'd recommend it. I think that's how you get the Cryomancer class, I think. Not 100% on that. Happening now, Frostfell 2015 war. That's from a while ago. 2015 so this is definitely gonna come back uh, So get ready for Frostfell 2016. It's almost here. Can't wait for that. Love Frostfell. All right Here is a new brand new brand spanking new very new house isn't even released yet in Adventure Quest Worlds um, Reigns has it equipped actually. I think the idea for this house is super funny Um, I don't think this is the one that's gonna be in the package for this week uh, could be uh, but I don't know the name of the house, but if you look at our character page, there is a house called Snowman House. And if you look it up on the wiki, it's not a not a house on the wiki yet. But there is also, she does also have the house for the package on her account. So, this is probably the Snowman House, I would guess. There's, I think there's no way I can check the name of it, to my knowledge. But here is a little preview of it. Very cool looking. So you're in the brain right here, right? The brain of the snowman, and then you go down, and there's the heart of the snowman, and you got the lower intestines, I would guess, and then an exit, and you exit through that area of the snowman. <laughs> so it's very, very cute, very, very uh, cool looking house. I like it a lot. So yeah, I just thought I'd show that in this video. That's a new house that should be in Adventure Quest Worlds very soon. Probably next week, honestly. Oh, every year. All right, um... So this has been happening. Uh, I don't know the current percentage. Let me check. We are currently at 98%. So we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. But yeah, once it finishes, uh, the boss will have drops. Or at least one confirmed drop. The blade she's holding in her hand. So if you guys have some spare time today and you want to uh, unlock that weapon drop, you can uh, farm uh, the turn-ins at Battle on Town. So... Here is what could be a hint to a new release uh, when Grim Skull texts you to come over Netflix and kill. Um, so that could be a hint of a new release. They've done this certain kind of hint uh, for past releases and it could happen again. Some art from Dage that was uh, like never used I guess. Uh, so Elena asks what you like better between number 3 and number 5. Uh, so there's 3, there's 5. Comment down below which one's your favorite. I, ca I like them both, honestly, but I think we've been getting a lot of red sets lately, so I'd, I'd prefer this one, honestly. The purple one looks a lot better to me. So that will be available. Well, actually, it's not going to be available. Why did it say it's going to be available? This could be turned into an armor. That's what I was trying to say. So just something interesting I thought I'd throw in here. Uh, for this week's release, the, the Defenders of Swordhaven unlock the Regal Rewards starting tomorrow night as you fight to keep the royal family and castle safe. So some drops, I guess, from the new event tomorrow. Uh, so I guess we're going to Swordhaven for the new event tomorrow. Uh, friendly reminder that Black Friday is happening till December 2nd, so you have till tomorrow 
or is it December 2nd or 6th? I don't know. But for, if you have any Black Friday items you want and you haven't bought them yet, definitely buy them real soon uh, because they'll be going away soon. All right. Here is where the magic happens of this episode, the new class for the 2017 calendar available for pre-order. You can pre-order this at HeroMart.com. I think that's the website, just Google HeroMart. You can pre-order it there. I'm sure they link it uh, on their websites. So uh, there's a collector's edition, of course, and it comes with a class called Shadow Walker. Um, the class, um, so there's a bunch of information on the class, uh, including how it gains mana, striking an enemy in combat, more efficient on criticals, more effective on criticals, dodging attack restores HP as well. So you restore HP for dodging? That seems exploitable. Um, <laughs> like, just put full thief on there and uh, you'll never lose any health. Alright, um, so, of course, we won't know how this class handles until we actually can use the class. But from reading through these side notes, it sounds like it's actually pretty good. Uh, you gain mana when you strike an enemy or dodge any attacks. So you're getting mana and HP back when you're dodging, which is insane. Uh, the skills applies Chaos Rift, which is used for other abilities. Each attack also affects you and your opponent's sight, lowering your opponent's hit chance by 3% while increasing yours by 3%. A temporal Eclipse is active. Each attack will affect you and your opponent's focus, lowering your opponent's dodge chance by 3 while increasing yours by 3 both stack to 5 and last for 10 seconds, and it's a melee range. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, there's a bunch of skills here. I mean, I don't want to bore you and go through all of them. It does sound like a very interesting class, but you can go ahead and read through this yourself. It's just pretty boring just me reading skills off in this video. When the class does come out, I mean, I haven't ordered the calendar yet. I might order it. Uh, I don't know, it just like seems a little expensive just for a class, but you know, I, I might get it. Uh, the calendar looks okay, like uh, it's got, it's all AQ 3D art, but it's all like painted stuff, like it's not like in-game screenshots or anything like that, like it's all like hand painted I think, not hand painted, but like painted on a computer by Dage. It all looks good, I might get it, I don't know, still deciding, it's on pre-order right now so they're not shipping it yet, uh, and I'll probably decide before they ship it. Uh, we'll probably do a video on the class. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you did not, leave a dislike. That's fine by me. And uh, comment down below what you're most excited for. Definitely for me, it's the package. The $10 package with the Dage gear and the new house and a new set of Frostfell gear. Awesome. Can't wait for Frostfell. Dage's birthday is sooner than we think. Because they're, they're already, they already made an item for it. <laughs> they already made an item for Deja's birthday. And uh, yeah, very interesting news today. Thank you guys for watching again. And I'll see you all in the next video. I'll be live streaming tomorrow at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. I'll see you there. Peace. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And a shout out. And I forgot to say this in the video. But shout out to my last video. <laughs> uh, click the top right hand corner to watch that. It's about the Dragon Morphs in Adventure Quest 3D. If you're interested in those. I do a preview and show you the two new Dragon Morphs in AQ3D, so you can check those out in the last video I uploaded on my channel. Thank you again for watching, I'll see y'all in the next video. Welcome to the outro of the video. If you haven't seen my last video, it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen. Go ahead and click the card up there, that'll bring you to the last video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post a lot on Twitter. If you don't want to contact me, my DMs are always open on Twitter, so you can feel free to contact me there. And Facebook is where I post all my videos, so if you use Facebook and want to keep up with my videos, following me there is definitely a good thing to do. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.